least chapter, this 184 review. Now, I'm not going to sit here and complain and moan and groan over this week's chapter of Bleach. This is the second to last chapter of a shonen manga series that is being rushed. Alright? Ichigo needed to beat Yuha. There was no way Jump was going to let Kubo do anything spectacular at this point. There was no way Jump was going to let Yuha win. Not with this. I am not a big Bleach fan. I am, I am, well, I don't want to say I'm not a big Bleach fan. I'm not, a, I'm a big, I'm a very big casual fan. I'm a super casual fan of Bleach. In other words, I love Bleach. I'm a super big fan of it. But I have a casual amount of knowledge on the theory. I don't know much more than the average fan that tunes into the theories every, every week does. I don't know anything about the Kubo interviews. I, I don't even know what the data books are called. I don't know where half of the information comes from. I don't know much about Bleach. But I do know one thing. I have been following this story for about four years now. Alright? Four, 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 three years. Give, three or four years, give or take. But I've been following it long enough to know that Kubo, he does shit that pisses me off. Kubo is not a bad writer. He is, Kubo is by no means a bad writer. And I know for a fact I would bet a hundred dollars. I would bet a hundred fucking dollars that Kubo did not want to end Bleach this way. I would bet a hundred dollars on that. Because I know for a fact he would never end it this way if he could. But this chapter of Bleach, I could go on and on trying to either explain whatever the hell happened with Ichigo Bankai. But I'm not going to do it. The fact that the Bankai shatters and we see the original Shikai. There is no explanation for that. I watched the review by James Hansen and Tekken 101. Both people who normally could explain things that I could not, things that I had no idea of how to comprehend, they could usually explain it. Neither one of them had any idea what happened. If you ask any Bleed fan, I have asked other Bleed fans. I asked my friend that is a big Bleed fan. It's his favorite theory. They know the snake. What he thought of this. He didn't know. Nobody knows what happened with Bleach. Nobody knows what happened in the chapter. There is no one that can give a legitimate explanation of what happened in the chapter. Am I angry? Yeah. Am I mad at Kubo? God. I swear to God, no. God, no, I'm not mad at Kubo. Well, no, I'm mad. I'm mad at his, I'm mad at his editors who, who are pushing this. I'm mad at Jonin Jump. I'm mad at everybody. This is ridiculous. Bleach has been serialized in Shonen Jump for 15 goddamn years. 15 goddamn years. The next week is its 15th anniversary, if I'm pretty sure. But this would have been the 15th year it was serialized in Shueisha's weekly Shonen Jump. And they turn around to Kubo. And they have the audacity to get fuck it to tell him to fuck off. And give him and say he had like five weeks to end Bleach. Like this is ridiculous. And I I would say probably at, it was at some point during his fight with Ichigo. Yuha fight with Ichigo. Ichigo fight with Yuha. I would say the chapter hit Bankai broke. It went it it went Kubo was told that. But then the week that the week Gerard no the week Gerard was taken out by a by the F Wallen or the Holy Selection the the week that happened Bleach the painting was like pretty much taking everything and taking the core material that Kubo had planned and putting it on the manga without any of the substance in between it's like a cheese sandwich without the cheese. That's like what we're getting. It's like a cheese sandwich, but, we're, but without cheese and just bread. There's nothing in between. It's just plot point, plot point, to plot point, to plot point. And they're skipping a lot of plot points. They're skipping a lot of them. And is it all because the people at QH are assholes? And some people are saying it could be a thin in bleach in another, in another magazine. I don't think that's how it works. I think Kubo owns the right... From what I understand, Kubo owns the right to create the theory. He would be official owner of the Bleach franchise. 
the, the, the serialization, the manga serialization rights. I believe Shonen Jump has those as of now. I do believe there is a contract. They're probably the kind of contract. I don't know too much about how the industry works, but maybe there's a contract, and maybe in like a couple of years when that contract runs out, maybe they can give him the rights back, and he can go continue somewhere else. Maybe he can he can write. Maybe he'll quit Jump. I think in Kubo, I'm pretty sure he financially well off enough. Bleach for like four or five years was One Piece level. Was was on One Piece's level in terms of popularity for like four or five years. That's the uh, uh, that is a feat. Not that is a feat that is comparable to what Akur, Akura Toriyama with Norm the Dragon Ball manga with the rap. That's the that basically the same feat Toriyama accomplished with Dragon Ball, but but just give or take like four years. That's pretty much the same feat. I mean. It just, it's really sad to see such a great theory treated this way. I know, I just... My honest thoughts on the chapter, it's a, it's a, it's a disappointment. It really is. Yuha was defeated in such an anticlimactic way. I thought it was anticlimactic. I thought it didn't make sense at all. I honestly think it would have been better if Ichigo just beating him with his Bankai. If Ichigo had just straight up killed Yuha when he went Bankai. Fought him with the Bankai for all these chapters, and then just killed him. It would have made less. It would have made no sense, but at least it would not have broken the rules of the universe. Because honestly, I don't know. I would. I don't even know what happened in this chapter. But the minute he shattered the Bankai, I would just. I know in my live reaction, I said it was a great chapter. But I mean, when I was reading this, I had only been up for like five minutes. I don't think I fully understood what was going on yet. Then when I actually realized what was happening, like and I, I, I like maybe like a day later, when I after I really thought about it and really tried to wrap my head around it, I was just like, wait, hold on a minute. This doesn't make any sense. I was like, and I and I would and I wanted and I didn't want to do this review until I really knew for sure. At first, I was going to blame Kubo, but then I realized something. As the minute the five week chapter announcement was made, we lost the, the right to blame this on Kubo. You can blame other things on Kubo, like you can say if he had not fucked around as much with all this useless shit, then maybe, then maybe we would not be in this situation. But we are in this situation, and you cannot blame him for these individual bad chapters. You cannot blame him for each individual chapter, because he is not his fault. I can guarantee you Kubo had a plan to make this a great ending. But no. And what about Aizen? I mean, I know he's been turning into a rant, but what about fucking Aizen? What about fucking Aizen? Was he really brought... Why did they release him for prison? Like, are they gonna put him back in prison? I swear to God, if I didn't turn out to be a good guy, and he'll go back to fucking prison, that will piss me off. But I'm not pissed at... I'm not pissed at Kubo. I'm gonna make that very clear. When I think I am angry, I am never mad at Kubo. I am mad at the editors and at Shonen Jump for treating Bleach, something that has been in Shonen Jump for over 15, no, for over 14 years, for almost over 14 years, nearly over 14 years, and treating this franchise like shit. I'm really mad at them for that. This series deserves better than that. It really does. I'm not editing that video. If there are a lot of pauses, I'm sorry. I'm yelling a lot. I'm being really loud. That's because I'm angry. I'm legitimately angry. I'm not going to sit here and review this chapter because I have nothing to say. This chapter was a disappointment. It was a letdown. This chapter was, it made me angry and, and it disappointed me. But you know what? I have respect for Kubo. Because you know what? While I was reading it, my initial reading of the chapter, I didn't hate. I had fun reading it. I have respect for Kubo for under these circumstances being able to give me a good 3 minutes and 55 seconds. Yes, 
my review was three minutes, my live reaction was only three minutes and 55 seconds. You see what I did there? No, but really, I respect Kubo for being able to give me an enjoyable time while reading this, because the circumstances he is being dealt are garbage. And if anyone, if any, if we just feel bad for anyone in this situation, we should not feel bad for ourselves. That would be selfish. If you are feeling bad for yourself because you're not satisfied with the ending, you're an asshole. Because that's not who you should be feeling sad for. What are you should feel sad for? Taite Kubo. Bleach is his theory. He took Bleach. He took an idea and he built it from the ground up to make it a theory that for four or five years, from like 2006 to like 2010, competing with One Piece. Competing with One Piece. Sometimes doing better than One Piece is a feat not many theories accomplish. That is a big deal. One Piece is the best selling manga of all time. That is not easy to do. Kubo did it. This is his baby. This theory is his baby. You can, can you just imagine how much work he put into Bleach? And how Jonin Jump is taking a giant shit on his hard work. This is, in my opinion, the biggest form of disrespect I have ever seen from any company. I am, I am 16 years old. In my 16 years old of being alive, this is the biggest form of disrespect I have ever seen any company give an employee. They are telling Kubo he has wasted the last 15 years of his life. Because they are making him, they are telling him he has spent 15 years, because probably more than that, because he had to try. He had to come up with a concept art, he had to come up with a main character, with design, with a story. He had to create the premise of Bleach. That probably, I don't think he did that overnight. That probably took him a couple months. For 15, or 14 years, possibly 15 years, Kubo had worked for Suecia and brought them in a lot of money. He did a lot of things for them. And now, they're stabbing Kubo in the back. So you know what I have to say to you? Fuck Jonin Jump. Fuck you for this. I, I love a lot of Jonin manga. I, Jonin, I love the, I love the really cliche Jonin stuff. I love that. I love stuff like Naruto. My Hero Academia. I'm, I'm in the middle of watching that. I like stuff like that. Naruto. One Piece. One Piece is the king of cliches. I love stuff like that. I love stuff like Bleach. It's the kind of stuff I love. But and Shonen Jump publishes it. But I'm going to be honest. Fuck you Shonen Jump. Because it's the ultimate form of disrespect. I am sorry. I'm not going to be mad at Kubo for this. And if you're mad at Kubo. Stop it. Stop it right now. Because this, that's not fair. Don't blame Kubo for this. I'm sorry if I came across as an asshole in this video. But I'm just. I'm really, I knew it was going to be bad, but this, this. There are times when reading this, when I feel like Kubo purposely made it shitty, just to show how angry he was at Jonin Jump. He wanted to, he wanted to force Jonin Jump to publish the bad quality content. Just, that's how angry he was. And I know his in relationship with his editors isn't very good. Kubo, I know you're not watching this, I know that. But I'm just going to say it out of respect. Kubo, Bleach is my fourth favorite manga series. It really is. It's my fourth favorite series of all time. That said something. Alright. I get up every third day for that couple of years and I have read Bleach. And I will say one thing to you, Kubo. You wrote a damn good manga. And you did not deserve this. Guys, I have a whole video coming out. I'll... I'll on um, Monday, just explaining what I'm going to be doing for the final chapter of Bleach. This will explain what is going on with my One Peak review as well, because I got some stuff going on on Thursday. But this will explain what's going on with One Peak and what's going on with Bleach that week. That will be Bleach Day. One Peak is my lead, is my bottom priority on Thursday. No matter how good the chapter is, it is my bottom priority. This is the final chapter of Bleach ever. I'm going to be recording a video with a couple other YouTubers. I've already talked about that. I'm going to be recording my End of Bleach video with Dino G Snake, Real to Real, and Anime Export. So yeah, that will be released on Friday. The next week, check that out. But yeah, 
Uh, and I'll be doing a live reaction and review early in the morning. I guarantee, I can guarantee an early live reaction and a review for that. I, I swear, I swear, to, I swear to God, I swear on my life, there will be an early one. My, my review of my live reaction will be out. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my whatever the hell this video was on the last chap on the second to last chapter of Bleached. I just, I'm really disappointed in this chapter. I know I came across like really angry, but that's because I am. I'm generally upset at how bad this ending is. But guys, if you enjoyed, if you want to see my thoughts on the final chapter of Bleach. The final chapter. My reaction and review to the final chapter of Bleach. Please subscribe for that. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Because this is One Piece Nation signing out. And this is the end. This is the end of, this is the end of Bleach, and this is the end of an era.